All right, we're back. We're on page five of notes 12 of Calc C. We were talking about arc length, uh, and we're basically just doing kind of like review-ish slash practice problems at this point, I think. Um, so let's see if we can do it. So a region is bordered as shown below. The curves that bound the region are like all of those. And uh, find the perimeter of the region, set up an integral. I will tell you that when I have my students do this, they pretty routinely forget one of two things, and it's kind of the saddest part. They either forget this, or they forget this. You get so hung up on using the arc length formula, that like you forget the easy stuff. So don't do that. So, and including on the AP exam, sometimes they ask this kind of question and they'll be like, all this fancy stuff and then just like plus three and everybody's like, why is three there? It's like, oh, because of that horizontal section or whatever. Um, so let's see if we can do it. Find the perimeter of the region, set up an integral or integrals. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna start with, uh, there's definitely two here. And then uh, what do we got here? Two, two cosine of pi. I mean, this is like very clearly 1.5 1. 1. and then 4.5. So those are three apart. So that's another three that we'll count there. And then uh, this and this are equal. So I'm just gonna like do one thing and double that. Then here and here, I think I'm just gonna use the arc length. Even though you could Pythagorean theorem this, I'm gonna use arc length. So let's see what we got. So I'm gonna say it's two plus three plus uh, the integral. So I'm gonna double this. Two times the integral from zero to 1.5 of the square root of one plus, what is h prime? h prime of x is, oh boy, negative two pi over three sine of, pi x over three. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that in parentheses. Two pi over three sine of pi x over three, and that's squared dx. So that's, we got two of those. So that's like, uh, I'm gonna try to color code this. This part, it's like a small highlighter. What is this? I feel like I'm having to use a lot of effort there. I think it's my it's my standard highlighter. Uh, that's this and this. And I guess uh, I should have highlighted the other parts. This is this and this. So I'm gonna use um, the, not equals, what are you doing? Um, I'm gonna use arc length for this next thing too. So I'm doing this part. So from zero to four, integral zero to four. I mean, it just ends up, it ends up the same no matter how you do it. So it doesn't really matter. One plus uh, F prime of X is just one half. So the quantity one half squared and then DX. It's hard to imagine that's gonna end up the same answer though. So is it? I mean, it definitely is. What would this be? This is uh, four by two. So the square root of 20 and then this, I gather somehow also gives you the square root of 20. That's neat. Um, and then we need that one last part. So you, maybe I'm just not being aggressive enough with my highlighting, so it's taking longer. That's a possibility. It seems unlikely, but who knows. And then we gotta add plus the integral from four to six of the square root of one plus uh, G prime is just two times the quantity X minus six. So the quantity two times X minus six squared DX. And then there we go. Fill you in. Then we're supposed to use a calculator to check that or to get it. Yes, we're supposed to use a calculator to get it. Um, so I will do that. But first I'm gonna set up the integrals for the area. Area, I have a plan. I think the easiest thing to do is like this big region and this big region, right? Get both of those, because I can do that in two integrals. And then actually this just traps it, but I'm gonna use an integral anyway. Um, and then I'll just subtract this region twice because this region and this region are the same. That's my plan. So first, I forgot to highlight this. There we go. 
Um, so first I'm gonna find that big trapezoidal region and I'll do that. It's the integral from zero to four of, oh, why am I not? So this is just gonna be uh, f of x dx plus from four to six of uh, g of x, I guess. How can that be g of it? Oh, cause yeah, geez, g of x dx. Um, and then I'm gonna subtract two times the integral from zero to 1.5 of probably h of x. Yes, so zero to 1.5 and then two of them, and h of x, h of x dx. All right, that's, that's, I don't know why I give you so much air, uh, so much air. Why do I give you so much area on this page? I don't know why I gave you so much room because that is definitely uh, what we needed to do. All right, back to the calculator and let's find out. Let's find some answers here. All right, so f of x is four plus x over two. G of x is quantity x minus six squared and then plus two. And then h of x is uh, two cosine of pi times x over three. All right, so we wanna do five, plus two times the integral. Oh uh, man, do I know what I'm doing? Not really. Square root of one plus, I'm gonna like use the template and just get the derivative. Derivative with respect to x of h of x. And then I need to square that. So that's like awkward notation. Oh, that's not even right. Cause it's squaring the square root. That's squared. Oh my God, can I not do it? I want it right there, squared. Is that, why, why won't it do that? All right, back to the drawing board, hold on. Um, derivative, h of x comma x. I'm gonna store that as uh, hp of x, Harry Potter. Okay, and then should I do that with something else? No, also I'm just being lazy, like, I mean, I could, have done uh, something else. Uh, square root of one plus. Am I being lazy or am I trying? I'm trying to not be lazy and it's really backfiring, I guess. Uh, zero to 1.5 plus integral square root. That's the killer plus uh, one fourth. So now I'm like trying to skip steps. Zero to four plus integral square root one plus four quantity x minus six squared comma x, geez, four to six. I don't know. Let's see if I do four, five plus two times the arc length of um, h of x from zero to 1.5 plus the arc length of f of x, f of x from uh, zero to four, I forgot x, and then plus arc length of g of x, where x is a variable from four to six. Same answer, so that's good. All right, and then the area integral of f of x, where x is a variable from zero to four, plus integral g of x, x is a variable from four to six, minus two times the integral h of x, yeah. x is a variable and then zero to 1.5. This will this should do it. 22, okay, so I'm gonna jot those down and then uh, I'm gonna say we pretty successfully did this problem. I don't know if I, I, I think I mentioned in the previous video that I had meetings all day and man, my brain is mush. And so this is probably not my best, probably not my best video, but time is of the essence. So I gotta get these done. So, uh, you know, all right, let's see. This is what it's like. Never, never leave your work to the last minute, which I really didn't do. It's just that I have uh, an infinite amount of work to get done. But anyway, here I am doing it. There you go. Those I think are your answers. I think that's the whole page. I'm gonna stop the video here and I'll be back in the next one to do some more. So see you there.